Hi, I'm Clive from Cannondale and we're here at our 2019 launch uh, looking at our System 6 uh, road bike. Uh, this is our new uh, aero road bike that we're launching for 2019. We've got four models. Uh, it's built around our uh, uh, Ballistec Carbon uh, chassis. We've got two different frames uh, and four models in the range. So we've got two high mod bikes and two carbon bikes. Uh, price wise, eight and a half for Durace Di2. Uh, six and a half for Ultegra Di2, five grand for uh, Durace Mechanical, and three and a half for an Ultegra Mechanical. Uh, three out of those four models feature our carbon fibre, not 64 wheel set. So it's a 64 mil depth, 32 mil outer width uh, wheel set, and that is, uh, and that also licenses a um, pattern from head for aerodynamic interface between the tyre and the real wheel. So we're using a 23 mil tire on here, but it actually measures 26 uh, because of the width of the rim, so the tire spreads out. Um, you can actually get huge tires in here. I put a different wheel set in here yesterday with a tire that measured 31 mil, and we still have plenty of clearance. So you can get really big tires in here if you wanna if you wanna make this uh, bike a bit more comfortable as well as uh, getting the speed out of it. Um, speaking of comfort, when we did our launch recently, uh, all the global media guys, including our friends at Road CC commented how comfortable this was for an aero road bike. So we've got a super fast chassis, it's, it's tested to be the fastest bike in the world wind tunnel wise, but also it won't beat you up if you actually want a bike you can go and ride 100 mile on. Um, other features, we've got our knot bar and stem, so it's an integrated bar and stem uh, with a two bolt system that allows the uh, bar to uh, have eight degree of pitch adjust. Uh, it's also very compliant. Um, we've got stem lengths uh, that are interchangeable, so you don't have to change your whole bar and stem if you want to tweak it for a bike fit. Um, we do stems from 80 to 120, so most sizes covered. Um, quite a few of the models feature a power to max uh, power meter on the bike. Uh, this is a subsidized power meter. It's actually fitted to the bike at point of sale, but it's not activated. Uh, so the way that it works is if you want to use the power meter, then you uh, subscribe, uh, where you pay uh, power to max directly on their website. Uh, to activate the power meter so it's not included in the price of the bike you're not paying an extra you know thousand quid or whatever because it's got a power meter um, the cost to activate it is uh, 490 euros uh, but that's uh, obviously cheaper than buying the power meter and uh, having it fitted on the bike so it's uh, it's a great thing to have on there because it's a spider fitting uh, power meter with left right balance uh, all the all the features of a full power meter rather than just a, a left hand arm version so, uh, so that's our Durace model. Uh, this is going through to the Ultegra bike, um, Ultegra Di2. Uh, you can't really see it from that angle, but we've got this uh, silver paint on the back of the bike that is reflective. So from the back of the bike at night, that's all lit up. Uh, interesting to note that these, uh, this platform is disc specific, but it's not electronic specific. So we've seen a few bikes recently being launched, uh, like the new Specialized Venge that are Di2 only. Uh, this bike you can change out uh, this cable port here uh, for one that will take a mechanical cable uh, just like here on this bike so you can run mechanical cables on there and that allows us to get it down to uh, three and a half grand point on an Ultegra bike um, obviously if it was electronic only then the uh, entry price point would be uh, quite a bit higher so System 6, new aero road bike from Cannondale, wind tunnel test to be the fastest bike on the market, super comfortable for all day long rides, looks fantastic. Uh, there'll be demo bikes available at a dealer near you shortly. To look through a few models from our Synapse range, uh, this is one of the biggest categories for Cannondale. Um, Synapse having won more Bike of the Year awards uh, than any other bike in its category, uh, including a couple from Row CC. Um, going to start with the 105 SE bike. Uh, so this is an alloy synapse. Uh, the SE spec was introduced uh, last year or year before on these models, but it basically gives you a slightly bigger tyre, tan wall, uh, more sort of sedate colourways. Uh, and this is, this is a really good look for this year, like a metallic green with a tan wall tyre, black rim, WTB rim. That's got a lovely look about it. Got a fabric saddle on there as well. Uh, this is featuring the new 105 and also it's got our Candel SI chain set on there. And I believe that bike is coming in at 13.99. So really nice high spec alloy frame. Obviously you can put mud guards on there, rack mounts, uh, whatever you need. Uh, so the alloy uh, Synapse platform 
uses all of Cannondale's um, CAD uh, technology in uh, smart forming this frame. So it's one of, the, uh, one of the best alloy frames out there. Full carbon fork on that bike as well. Uh, moving on to this one in the middle, this is actually our uh, carbon Ultegra uh, disc bike. Uh, this is actually in a, our ladies colorway, uh, but we do exactly the same uh, color, exactly the same model in a guy's bike in a different color. Uh, and interestingly, we introduced this purple color uh, on our CAD 12 uh, men's bike last year. So uh, the ladies said that it was such a nice color, they wanted it on a bike. So we, we brought it across. So here, this bike retails at 2699. This is one of our best selling bikes in the UK. Uh, this was all new last year, Synapse. And last year we managed to take weight out of it. We stiffened up the head tube and the down tube. So now it feels more like an Evo when you're sprinting and climbing. Uh, I ride a Synapse myself and I absolutely think it's one of the best all round bikes on the market. Uh, you've got Ultegra uh, group set on here with the uh, Shimano Hydro brakes, um, Kando SI chain set, fabric saddle, uh, our uh, Candale uh, finishing kit, like I said, that bike's 2699 uh, in uh, men's or women's. That's got a new Fulcrum wheel set this year. Uh, we've uh, switched across from Mavic to Fulcrum. Uh, really good backup from Fulcrum in the UK. And obviously Fulcrum's part of Campagnolo, so uh, you know, it's a really good quality wheel set. And then we've got a new model for this year, uh, again in carbon. Uh, this is our new Tiagra carbon bike. Uh, this is coming in at only 17.99, so it's like a new entry uh, price point on this uh, new uh, Cannondale Synapse chassis. So you basically got our Ballistec carbon frame and fork, uh, Tiagra group set on there. Um, really nice finishing kit, but what a great bike for 17.99. Uh, so that's a few highlights from the Synapse range. Uh, true endurance machinery from Cannondale. Uh, these bikes are bolt through axles, all the latest standards. So take a test ride in your local dealer and do a little Google for the, uh, the test results, especially on Row CC, where you can see that this bike uh, is loved by everybody that rides it. Uh, there's a new bike for this year, the CAD Optimo. Uh, we had this name a couple of years ago as a disc brake bike, um, and then it went away and now it's come back as a rim brake bike. Uh, so we've got a couple of models here. These bikes are starting at 650 quid. I've got two models, this one's 650 and the 105 bike at 999. That's featuring the new 105, which looks pretty sweet. Uh, and what you've got here is Cannondale's legendary aluminium um, construction. So really shaped tube sets, really nice welding, super light, uh, and also full carbon fork on here. Even at 650 quid, we've got a carbon fork with a carbon steerer. That's actually taken 300 grams out of the weight of bikes in this category before that had uh, alloy steerers. Um, so that's Candel uh, CAD Optimo. We've got four models from 650 to 1,000 quid. Uh, and they share all the DNA of our CAD 12. Uh, CAD 12 being our flagship aluminium bike. Uh, when all manufacturers years ago abandoned aluminium in favor, in favor of carbon, uh, Candel has always pushed the envelope with aluminium. Uh, and CAD 12 uh, not only is one of the best, if not the best alloy bike on the market, but regularly beats carbon bikes in group tests. Uh, this year we put uh, our CAD 12 Durace uh, on test with lots of carbon bikes from other brands and we, uh, we won at least two group tests in uh, magazines and on, online. So, so CAD 12, uh, most of you know about it. It's been in the market for a couple of years. Uh, there's no real changes to the frame. It still uh, remains one of the lightest bikes out there. Uh, what we are doing though is bring it in now at a Tiagra level. So this CAD 12 uh, Tiagra spec bike is actually coming in at 1099. Um, so for basically for 1100 quid, you've got a bike with uh, a frame and fork that would normally cost somewhere in the region of sort of uh, six to 800, depending on the finish and so on. Um, and both of those bikes share the same geometry with our Super 6 Evo, um, which has uh, really sort of become Cannondale's Porsche 911. Uh, we got to the point with Evo now, it had a revamp a couple of years ago, and we're at the point really where there's not really a lot we can do with this bike uh, that would increase the performance. Uh, somebody said the other day, well, you could put through axles. Well, that would just add weight to this bike. Uh, and also it doesn't need through axles. It's never, it's always been regarded as a really good balance of uh, power to stiffness, to weight, to feel. Uh, the Evo is a race bike that you can ride all day. You can do a hundred mile ride on this bike and still feel pretty fresh. Um, there's, there's some new models in the line. This is our new uh, Evo race. 
so this is our uh, ballistic carbon frame and fork, um, our hologram uh, SI wheel set. So that's about a 1400 gram wheel set. Um, and this bike has got uh, an Ultegra rim brake group set uh, with our own SI cranks, um, a Powtermax uh, German engineered uh, power meter on the bike uh, that has to be activated, but it's fitted on the bike, uh, carbon seat post, uh, and all that for 2999. Uh, I know three grand is a lot of money, but that is a lot of bike. Uh, I would argue that that is possibly 80% of the performance, but 50% of the price of many sort of high-end carbon bikes with Durace and Di2 and, and so on. So that's um, some bikes from our elite uh, level range. So the, uh, the geometry on these bikes is long and flat, but as you can see, uh, they do ship with a lot of spacers. So if you need a more upright position, but you want the sort of low weight and the feel of an Evo, or CAD 12, then you can definitely get the position that you need. Uh, and these bikes will be in the shop shortly. So um, look out for some reviews on Row CC and some test rides in bike shops around the country. Uh, we've got uh, CAD X, CAD X SE and Supercross. Uh, I'm going to run you through a couple of differences. Uh, this is our uh, CAD X Tiagra. Um, this bike is 999 and you've basically got our um, Candel uh, advanced aluminium design uh, frame. So you've got that shaped top tube, uh, full carbon fork on there, and that is uh, bolt through in the front, and you've got a QR in the rear. Um, you can put rack mounts on there. We've got rack mounts on there, you can put mud guards on there. So even though it's a proper uh, geometry for cross, uh, the reality is a lot of these bikes just get used for uh, commuting, uh, gravel riding, that kind of thing. So if you, want, if you want a sort of one bike that does everything well, and goes everything well, and uh, you want that sort of cycle scheme threshold price point wise, 999 gets you uh, a pretty tasty bike. Loving the uh, little hits of colour on the back of the seat tube, stays and in the fork. Uh, so that is um, our Cadex uh, Tiagra. Moving on to the 105 SE. Uh, like other bikes in the range, such as Synapse, uh, the SE bike gets a slightly bigger tyre and rim. Uh, in this case, it's a WTB 37mm uh, tyre and a WTB rim, and that's all, uh, that's all tubeless compatible, so that's the, that's the WTB tubeless um, uh, format. So uh, same frame as the um, other Cadex, we've just got this sort of more sort of subtle muted colorway, bigger tires, amber wall tires. That's got the new 105, so the uh, 105 that sort of mimics the Dura Race and the Ultegra, so it's a really nice looking group set for this year. Got a fabric saddle on there as well, and that bike is 1,200 quid, and that features our Candel SI chain set. On there. Um, you can interchange the spiders and uh, arms with other uh, chain sets in the range. So if you want to put a spider ring or something cool on there, you can. And then moving up to one of my favorite bikes in the range. Uh, this is our Supercross uh, and this is our Apex One bike. So it's a SRAM Apex One group set on our Supercross carbon frame and fork. Uh, that's actually one of the lightest frames in the Cannondale range. Uh, and that bike uses our uh, Cannondale AI offset. Uh, which means the rear wheel is very simply dished uh, six mil to the uh, non-drive side. So it means that we get an even spoke tension, same length spokes on both sides, and it allows us to move the drivetrain out six mil this way, which means that we get a bigger tyre clearance. Even though this is a sort of cross race bike, you can get up to a 40 mil tyre in there quite easily. So if you want to use it as a gravel bike, you can. Um, but we've also got uh, room for front mech on there as well. So you can run it as a two by big tires, whatever you want because of that AI offset. Uh, it's bolt through front and rear, um, really nice little um, touches on the, on the way that the wheels fit in. And that's the Apex One group, so that's one by with the hydro um, brakes on there. And that bike's uh, 2499. So we've got two and a half grand, 1200 quid, 1000 pound. Uh, good overview of the Candel Suck Cross range for 2019. Uh, these bikes will be coming in stock pretty soon just in time to get your new bike for the cyclocross season.